So let the criminals take over, take over. This is this is a, those are cult. Those are false people. They have nothing to do with Christianity. This is a church. It's called Anna Baptist. This is a satanic, disgusting cult. And those people who they are inviting them and they are praising them, they are nothing but potatoes, either stupid, ignorant, or scammers. I can make a book right now praising Muhammad and you will see all the Muslims will invite me. Not because they love Christianity, because they can use me as a key to open doors, to penetrate the society of the Christians. Because when you see someone, he says to you, I am a doctor, I am a professor in a Christian college, you trust him, right? You think he's a Christian. This is a believer in Jesus. Why I should not trust him? So you will not be defense, that you will not be in the stage of defense. You take whatever he's saying and you take it for granted. This is why they are more dangerous than Muslims. We go back to the video and the debate to expose more lies. In fact, we will fight. We will defend the country. Right? Yeah. I mean, the point is, read. let's take it all in, all in context. I'm talking about the Qur'an, the Hadith, 1400 years of scholarship understanding the Qur'an and Hadith. It is very disingenuous for anybody out there. I don't care if the name is Muhammad Qutub or Sayyid Qutub or, or uh, you know, uh, uh, Abu Lala Maududi or anybody out there to, to, to say that, oh, they said this, therefore you believe this. No. Let's look at what the majority of the consensus, how the Ummah, how this community understood Islam. Number one. Number two is, Will they be humbled? Hatta yu'atul jizyata an yadin wa hum sagirun. Will they be humbled? Of course the non-Muslims who have been defeated in battle and now they have agreed to pay jizya will be Hold on, hold on. What defeated in battle? What defeated? What defeated? The Muslims are the one who's attacking them and now you are making them pay after they lose. You take their land, you occupy their land, in the top of that, you say you have to pay me, otherwise I will kill you. <laughs> what battle? Like, did the Christians in Jerusalem, they went all the way to Mecca and they threatened Muhammad, either you convert or we will kill you? Or the Muslims went all the way to Jerusalem, all the way to Syria, all the way to Egypt, all the way to Iraq, all the way, even to Persia, everywhere, saying either you convert or we will kill you. You see how filthy hypocrite they are? Yes, you have to be humble. We defeated you. So, according to this, when we went to Iraq and we occupied Iraq, we should force the Iraqi to pay us jizya. You have to be humble, you've been defeated. You see the logic? And if you disobey USA, we will kill you. Criminal face. Liars. Look at the satanic look in their eyes. You can see Satan is coming out. Humbled. Who wouldn't be? The matter was taken to the battlefield and they lost. They are humbled. But the question here is... Nobody fought you, you liar. Name for me one Christian king who waged war in Islam. Just one. And I'm talking before Islam started the attack. Somebody will mention to me the crusade. The crusade happened after Islam attacked, not before. Which means the crusade was a reaction, not an action. It was the Muslim who launched their crusade first. They call it Fatah. The Christian, they were responsible for the attack. They are not the attacker. And you will see many hypocrites, many stupid liars saying to you that the crusade was a bad people who is attacking everybody and they are unjust because of the liberals who attack crusade everywhere to attack Christianity. The fact, if not the crusade, you, you all of you will be Muslims by now. All of Europe will be under Islam by now. It is the crusade who keep you free, regardless if you are an atheist or a Christian. Islam never, ever committed a genocide against the non-Muslim. Islam never, never commit genocide against the Muslims. What about the thousands and the hundreds of Jews you killed? Actually, Islam killed more than 200 millions through history. Let us give you guys, Islam never commit genocide against non-Muslims. Let us, let us mention what Muhammad himself did. Let us read. 
Let us see what Muhammad did, and this is from their own resource. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. And remember, this is the Muslim point of view of the story, which means it doesn't mean really this is the truth. You know what I'm saying? This is a Muslim reporting the story for us, so don't take it for granted. When a Muslim reports the story, 99% of it must be a lie. And you know that. So, let us read together. They are saying that Bani Nadir and Bani Quraiza, they fought against the Prophet. How they fought against the Prophet? They violate their treaty. This is a Muslim point of view, all right? Let us take this as this is what happened. I'm not going to argue with it. So they violate their treaty and they are the one who attack, according to the Muslims, which I believe is not true. Then uh, the Prophet, he grant them peace after, after, even after the fight. If you read the story, you will see Muhammad, he promised them, if you lay down your arm, I will not kill you. So the stupid Jews, they lay down your, their arm. This is how stupid they are. They trusted Muhammad. Then Muhammad asked one of his companions, what do you say to do to them? He said, Prophet, kill them all. So look what Muhammad he did. He killed all the men. All their men. It's, it, it doesn't say all those who fought all the men, which mean, and actually the story, there's many stories we can show you. Uh, he asked, he forced them to take off their clothes. Any, even a child, if he had little hair around his private part, they consider him as a man. If you have little hair growing around your private part, you are a man and they slaughter him, which means they killed everyone, even those who did not go and join the war. And he just said, Islam never commit genocide against, against anyone. And then he enslaved all the women. And he divided them between the Muslims and their children. So what is this? This is not a genocide? This is not genocide? So what genocide is? And he granted safety for those who embrace Islam. So what is the problem? They are not fighting him. You need to embrace Islam. You embrace Islam, we give you safety. You see it? So if you are a Jew, if you are a Christian, if you are a Hindu, you embrace Islam, you grant us safety. If not, we will kill all the men, we will rape all the women, we will make them sex slaves, and we will take your children as slaves for us. And then he excelled all the Jews. Isn't it this is a cleansing? And actually Muhammad, he said, the Arabian and Benisida will not have two religions. Arabian and Benisida, all of it, not only in Medina. So do you see the lies, how trashy their lies is, how low class it is? Just to make it short, Muhammad in the Hadith, he said that he been ordered to fight all mankind, all people and that there is nobody in this earth will not say that there is no God but Allah and there is no Prophet but Muhammad. And then after you say it, still you are not done. You have to start praying. And then you have to start paying. And then you have to believe in everything Muhammad he believed. And whoever does that, Whoever does that, does what? Say the shahada, establish the salat, which means the prayer, pay the zakat, which means money to Muhammad, because Muhammad will take from every money you, you pay for zakat, for his pocket. And they believe in everything Muhammad said. And then, if whoever does that, his life, his wealth is protected. So what is the way to protect your life is to do this and this and this and this. So it's not enough even to say shahada. No, you have to say shahada, converting, you have to establish the salat, you have to pay the zakat, and you have to believe in everything, and then and only then I will not kill you.
unless you break any of those rules, except by its right, which means if you break any of those rules, we will kill you, like an apostate. That's why he's saying here, like later, they fi fighting, they order to fight whoever uh, withhold the zakat. It's a duty of Islam. You have to obey, otherwise we will kill you. Even if you convert to Islam, you don't pay zakat, money is very important. We will kill you. The Muslim, they will say to you, this is tax, this is false. This is false. Because a big portion of this money go to the, to the Prophet. Uh, uh, this is why you see the Khalifa in Islam in his history. He had 10,000 women slaves. Like one of the Khalifa, Harun Rashid, he had 10,000 women slaves in one palace. How he can afford it? Go oh, from his salary. <laughs> from the zakat, man. Right? Yeah. So, let us continue with the video. So zakat definitely is humbling. Absolutely, because now you have to pay the tax. But remember, if you have to pay the tax of uh, jizya, then Muslim also has to pay the, uh, the zakat tax, and there's no running away from it. A Muslim cannot be a Muslim one day and, and become a, you know, a, a Christian and say, hey, you know what, I can't pay the zakat anymore. Wait, so he will try to convince you now that when the Christian they pay the jizya, this is tax. Let us show you that this is nothing but a lie. <clears throat> If the zakat is tax and the jizya is tax, so why you call it zakat for Muslims and jizya for Christians? It should be the same name. Correct? Like, do we have do, do we have a, a, a special word for non-Christians in USA or in Canada when they pay tax? Like, do the Muslims in USA file jizya and the Christians they file zakat? You see the hypocrisy? If you go to the word, if you go to the interpretation of the verse, you will see the following. This is the Muslim website, as you see in the front of your eyes, and this is Ibn Kathir uh, interpretation, which is not accurate, by the way, in, Eng in the English. <coughs> the English translation of Ibn Kathir is nothing but a diet. It's a very tiny uh, book compared to the actual books. Because the Muslim, they decide to take everything will make Islam look ugly. However, after all the try, still Ibn Kathir exposing Islam. If you read with me here, it says that you have to fight, fight those who don't believe in Allah. Like this guy, he said, those people, they lost with you in the fight, right? But if you read with me, you will see it says that fight those who believe... Uh,